Okay, I've been so bad at responding to comments lately, but this one's a really good one. I love auto battlers. This is on Cube Chaos, episode one. Any more recommendations? The Dota one sucks. Yeah, I haven't actually played the Dota one. Games like Brotato, I like Brotato. And they recommended Ember Ward. Ember Ward is a tower defense game. And then they asked if I have any other su suggestions. Um, on my main channel, which I will link to below, I just happened to play Ember Ward. And I'm really liking it. I'm going to play more of that game. The main game for these kinds that I would recommend would be Dungeon Warfare 2, which actually ends up going on to like a third channel of mine, so I was playing too much of it. This game is so good. So yeah, Dungeon Warfare 2 is pretty good for tower defense. That's my favorite one. Also, before I start, I'm going to start. Randomly, Cube Chaos Episode 1 is like almost my most viewed video in the last 48 hours and most viewed on this channel this month really weird cool to see i love cube chaos so if it starts getting views that would be amazing the biggest problem with cube chaos is it's really hard to follow what's going on they're like i'm the person playing the game and i can't follow what's going on Okay, highest nightmare. Nightmare 2. Lo random? Wait, does random lowest? Yeah, I still get to play at my max nightmare. Today, 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 we are playing as a rogue dwarf. Every 40 seconds, a free incursion gets added to our hand, which allows me to expand into my enemy's territory. Always start with sturdy stone, which is lame, but kind of cheap and I don't know, it's lame. Rogue plus Dwarf, your stone gives you control over its touching positions. What? Every three minutes, allowing you to place there. Okay, so you can drop stones in and they act like incursions? Sounds super lame, but maybe it's good if you can get movement onto the stone. We now have three nightmares. Let's go. I must have won last time. Start with three nightmares. Boons, we could start with blue moss. Every 30 seconds, create a... I don't care about blue moss much. It's okay. Costs 40 mana. It takes a while to pay for itself. The fun thing is it replicates, but it doesn't really rep replicate. It doesn't create a copy of itself. It creates a new, fresh blue moss. If it replicated, it would be different. So, added difficulty 2. No boons wasted. If I click this, starting debt 50. Curse of Electric Fences. Start of each battle, four free electric fences are added to the enemy hand. If we look at those, retaliate ten... Ah, that sounds like a pain. It's okay. Every minute, every neutral cube deals one damage to every ally above them. Oh, that's kind of rough. Lose Time Bomb. This dies after six seconds. I don't mind losing that. Time Bomb. Yeah, I don't like Time Bomb very much. It's a 12 cost, 2 HP, explodes. In theory, I think you're supposed to, like, incursion over the enemy and then drop bombs on them. But bombs are like a crappy thing to drop for 12 mana. No added difficulty. Easy game. Let's go. So, all I had to do was lose one of my few starting cubes. Decision time. How hard are these? I could come up, do a few fights, and then decide. I'm just going to plan on going up, because reading these sounds like reading, and this game has enough reading already. So what do we have? Poisoner's Kit for 60 mana, Dwarf, and Excavate to save me if I'm getting attacked, and a stone that does very little, but it could incursion into enemy territory. All this does is slow me down. Magic missiles are annoying. This is annoying. Hmm. Magic missiles are annoying. I think I wait and get the Poisoner's Kit. I could have just sent a bunch of dwarfs for 25 mana apiece. The worry is that this starts to mess with me pretty quick. So the hope is that this takes out the Magic Missile. Oh, that took out the Magic Missile. So, Tar. 
What does this do? Before the cube above moves, there's an 80% chance it doesn't move instead. Kind of a pain. Look at that. We get to go... Oh, almost got to go over it. Okay, every one in five times we actually get to pass. The bigger thing is this one, which does damage to me. I'm going to wait till I get 100 mana and then spam four of these, I think. But, kind of a pain, because of this downward laser and because of these tar, I can't really send... Oh, I can't even send that many. Okay, wait for that one to move. I don't want to take free damage. My dwarfs are making progress. Hey, look at that. They're shooting their own stuff. One nice thing about lasers, they do friendly fire. Huh. Magic missile. Oh, I could be incursion doing this into their territory. Wait, do these not cost mana? They're free! And we have three more uses. Okay, cool. So now, I can just drop dwarfs from in here. Cool, we win the game. Victory! See what cube we get. Crap. Blood to mana. After this is created, if an allied leader has 40 or less HP, apply one regen. I kind of like this one. After this is created, if an allied leader has 40 or more HP, it takes 40 damage, generates 30 mana, and this costs 10 mana. Container Cascade. After this dies, create the first cube from your hand, which costs at least 10 less than this. I'm going to take this one, but it's not very good. It's fun. It's kind of stupid, but it is fun. Smuggler's Incursion. After an incursion dies, create another random cube from your hand with mana cost 10 or less in its place. Interesting. Cost 10 or less. 10 mana. We're just going to create stones and excavates. And blood to manas, which could mess with me. Determination. First 1,200 times starting leader would die. It doesn't. Instead. Not healed. And then it would die after the 1,200. Er... 1200 is 20 seconds. So yeah, you have to heal yourself within that 1200 ticks. Looming Monolith. After a non-leader ally takes damage from an enemy with less HP, it deals one damage back. Oh. I think I'm just going to take that. Random cubes could be good. I just don't use the incursion that much. A little bit. Question mark or fights? Let's go fight. Try and get some cubes. So what's going on? Drain blood. That's a heal. Ants are super annoying. Oh, crap. Crap. Getting the regen, I could actually outfight the ants. 40 or less HP. I would have to use two of these to start getting regen. That's pretty scary. I don't have a good solution to ants beyond regen. I think I need to start doing this. So what am I doing? I'm gaining a bunch of regen. Bam. We've gained seven regen. Seven times per minute I get to heal. And if I get to ten more, I can go up to eight regen. And the hope is that I can just outheal the ants. Ants do one damage per second. They have one HP. They die after a minute. Die after a minute could actually be helpful. Stones. Aw. Oh. One dwarf can take out a lot of ants. The ants are the only thing that threatens me, though. So if I can get my regen up high enough, it doesn't matter what happens. And I probably don't need, like, that much regen. The scary thing is my health is really low right now. So if they come through right now... How much time are these ants going to have left? A while. So they will get to hit me. They're only going to get to hit me like twice, though. And my health will stay below 40 for a while because of these ants. Health is 19. Health is 20. So my health is going up. 
That's the main thing. But they're gonna get a second anthill, and then I'm in trouble. 23, it is going up. Regen, 18. 32. Just be careful not to cast this once I'm at 40, otherwise I could get one shot with an ant. Probably won't happen, but it could. Okay, so now, 25 regen. Once I get to full, which should happen quick, then I could cast it some more. First one gives me mana. Okay, so now I heal 29, which is pretty fast. I'm gonna get my healing. It's at 31. There's gonna be like unlimited ants for a while. 34. If I get it to like 60, then I'm healing one a second, which is pretty good. 37. Health is high. Cool. So now, regen's up to 43. 44 regen. But look at this constant stream of, stream of ants. I think if I didn't get my regen up, there's no way I could have kept up with these at this point. I still don't really know how I'm killing the opponent, but just having like 50 regen counters a lot of things. Make sure that I'm not above 40. Cool. Oh, I wanted 60 though. We could do that. Health is high. Okay, health is high. We're up to 55. Health. 58. Bam, 60 regen, one heal per second. Which is how fast one ant messes with me. Crap, I'm not killing that ant. Ooh, I'm barely keeping up. Okay, I think I want more then. Because we could end up with like three ants on us. In theory, 180 regen is enough that the ants can't really ever do anything to me unless one gets below me, but that's not going to happen. I do kill the ants, so 60 should be plenty. Okay, incursions. We have 12 of these. I do want to kill that ant hill, I think. Oh, I should have gone above it, though. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. What is the game plan? I would like to get a poisoner's kit, but if I do that, the ants will kill it. Huh. The ants will kill it quickly. I think I'm going to have to make another incursion above or below this, but we'll see. Yeah. This will start to kill some of the anthills. Okay, it's killing them quickly. Wait. That actually makes a huge difference. If I can kill another anthill, which we just did. Okay, these will push me back. Still. We killed the anthills. I'm now safe. Maybe I should have just killed the anthills sooner. I was too worried about getting overrun by ants. My leader's doing a good job of stopping the opponents. This should take out those anthills. It does. Now I could get Poisoner's Kit, but we're just gonna win. I guess we win easier with the Poisoner's Kit. We win! Okay, that was fine. Last Crystal. After this takes damage, deal one damage to every enemy on the same height. If you can heal this, it's really good. Mummy. I don't like Mummy. It's a 50 cost, 2 seconds, 5 damage. Eh. It's okay. It does big damage, but... I think I'm gonna go Blast Crystal or Reroll. We'll go Blast. Go here. Blast Crystal. Oh, I have Excavate. That doesn't do too much, but maybe it could? Excavate. After this is created, deal 3 damage to the cube below. Strength 2, so it does 5 damage for 10 mana. What do they have? I should have already checked. Water portal, treadmill, don't care, don't care. Chaotic drone. I do care. Chaotic drone and water portal 
and healer, I kind of care. Wait, after another ally with a different name is placed, give it strength equal to the energy on this, then this dies. So I can't really let... And this dies. Well, I guess that's just going to go onto a water portal. It's placed. Yeah, that's fine. Chaotic drone is a pain. The water could be a pain. Blast crystal's pretty good. Is it? Could be. Blood to mana. I think I'm going to do this first again. And just get some regen going. Like that much? No. Get a good lot of regen. How much damage can water do per second? We're going to find out. So water. Oh, it depends how deep underwater you are. Every 10 seconds, deal one damage to the first enemy any distance below this. Retaliate. I don't think I could end up under too much water. Chaotic drone is the main thing. Every three seconds, if this is in the same column, create a one damage down bullet below and retarget homing. So this one can only do 20 damage per minute. So if I get up to 20, I think I'm pretty safe. 20 regen. It's hard for me to send dwarfs across the water safely. And I can't really kill the cloud. So I think regen is it, mainly. We're up to 13. It's not really enough. Okay, luckily that drone was down low. I think it can come from higher, too. Let's get rid of the HP because there's nothing threatening me. 24. Okay, that's a lot of regen. Yeah, so this one can just sit there and do 20 damage per second to me, basically. How fast do you move? This should kill it, I think. Nope, but it did hit it. My leader's fine. Darn it. I think the drone moot? No. Hmm. Oh, I could use an excavate to kill them. To kill them. It also doesn't matter too much. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is one of these blast crystals. Oh, with Poisoner's Kit, though, this would be really good. The problem is, the Poisoner's Kit only has 5 HP and it'll die pretty quick. Let's get to 100 mana. Are they shooting themselves? Not really. Could kill them. Trying to kill them. Okay, we managed to kill them. Now I'd like to get the Poisoner's Kit going. But I can't really do that. Okay. I'm going to do Poisoner's Kit, Blast Crystal. And the hope is that we get enough poison on this before it dies. And we did. And I've got healing, so I'm fine. They are poisoned. Could get another Poisoner's Kit. Okay. And I could get another Blast Crystal. Nope. Now I can. Victory! We've done it. Maybe I should have just done the Blast Kit Poisoners sooner. Summer Winds, after this is created, repeat the following 20 times. For 40 mana, I can heal a random ally. Leader Reinforcement. After this is created, random allied leader gains 10 HP. I do like Graveyard quite a bit. Gaining max HP with all that regen would be good. But we're not guaranteed to be able to do that. Huh. I think I'm just going to take the Graveyard. I do want another fight still. These are not the right cubes yet. We need something that can attack. They have growth, crap. But the growth is going on a charging laser, crap. And they have missiles, and they have those. Okay. 
Regen can outpace all of those, but it's a pain. Yeah, just do regen. Or do I try to poison their leader? No, do the regen. Play it safe. Regen 7. Speed things up like crazy. Their magic missiles can't reach me. This thing's gonna shoot like crazy, but only once every minute. And it has growth. We could go take it out. Let's go take it out. I think it'll get to fire, but that's okay. That thing does fire like crazy. It might mess up my day, so I'd like to be at full health. Okay, it's dead. It's all dead. Cool. Let's get poison. Oh, with this laser, I could do the blast crystal. Cool. Six poison. I've still got the poisoner's kit. Just build the second one. So that wins the game. Oh, except it took itself out. It did take itself out. All right, these win the game. I was gonna say I could block this with a stone, but why even do that? What is this one? Teleport, target teleport, interesting. This one, Snow Knight is decent. 1.5 second attack is a little bit quicker. The snow is good. Ooh, tiny castle's kind of good. Tiny castle's expensive, but it's kind of good. Let's do it. Strange thoughts. After an ally is created, if no cube with the same name is in your hand, 30% chance to add a copy to your hand, which costs at least 10. After an ally is created, if no cube with the same name is in your hand, add a copy to your hand, which costs at least 10. So this could make knights for me make bullets it's weird stone costs one quarter less but why is that good claw machine choose from one more option when you have a choice of cubes to add to your inventory i don't know which costs at least 10 costs 15 is that even good to add? Oh, it's gonna add other cubes. Eh. I think I'm just gonna take Claw Machine. Do I feel strong enough to have done that? I think so, it's low difficulty. I think so. What do they have? Crap, they have Decay Bolt. Decay Bolt is a major problem. Eh. Stone can counter it, Regen can counter it. Let's get some Regen going. Stone costs 10. How long do I have? I have a while. Growing worm is kind of annoying. I just need to have 10 by the time that's ready. Blast mortar, kind of annoying. It is, but not... It's mostly annoying because it can blow up all my junk. Blast crystal. Okay, they're not even lined up with me. I'm just gonna go regen. Regen's nice because it can generate tons of mana later too. If you get like so much HP that you can just use this to generate mana. There's like no downside to putting on the regen basically. As long as I don't get poisoned by this. Oh, graveyard. Graveyard costs 50. Okay, where is this next missile? Oh, I didn't even see it. They did not hit me though. Oh. I am tempted to take this out. Last crystal. Every second deal five damage. Okay, just go. Oh, it already went. My bad. 
Pay attention to the melee. Cool. It just went off. This is still going. I'm going to put this here, I guess. And kill the snake. I was wrong. I did not kill the snake. Not even close. 39 HP. How much regen? 19. That's a good amount. We're healed up. Well, we're healed up to 41. I do not want to lower my HP right now. I think I'm fine. The only thing is now I can't put a blast crystal on the same level as the opponent. So my HP is now 32. That means I get more regen. That snake hurt. This is gonna keep traveling. We're fine. 22 regen. Okay, these things, because they don't collide with enemies, I don't know what they are colliding with. Okay, they're colliding with the ground. That's fine then. I'm healing up. Regen 26, I feel safe. And I'm blocked off from above. These do decay over time, two minutes, but still. Blocked off, pretty safe. 50 mana. There's no time for this ghost to spawn. But that should stop future, whatever they're called, these things, growing worms. Could get poison down here now, for what? Don't know, I could do incursions, do incursions. It would be good to take out a bunch of these. Here, I'm just gonna put this like right here. So, Orvin Warrior. Seems fine. I just got blown up. I thought that these projectile, holy. And I had good regen. How much did these do? Oh, retry. Okay, so not the, not the best. I was not paying enough attention. Ghostly Blast is lined up to shoot me. How much damage does it do? 4 HP. Eh. Flower, don't care. Bonfire, kind of annoying. Lots of little sparks. Regen, tons of regen. Crap, the stupid decay bolt. Leader's phylactery. I wonder if they hit me. They couldn't have, I had dropped down. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do regen, even though it didn't work last time. This time it will. Why? Because I said so. Avoid the Decay Bolt. To do that, I can put down a graveyard. Do they have anything that breaks the graveyard? Nope. Okay, watch out for this. Sparks just hit me. I'm not poisoned. This is lined up with me. So as much as I want to do graveyard, we have to go stone first. Fine. I have incursions. Graveyard is in. Maybe I should have placed this further back. I might need second graveyard, but I'd rather just get the regen. Regen makes me feel safer. Yeah, this is why I was saying I maybe needed to put it further back. Here, I'm gonna put a stone there. If I put ghosts on multiple levels, then I'm pretty safe. Haunted Graveyard. Or if I put multiple up here. I'm gonna put one right here. And maybe one right... <laughs> I'm fine with this block going away. Here. Cost 50. Okay, right there. Good stuff. I already had a stone, but it's poisoned. So now, the poison should hit the ghosts unless they shoot me first with one of these. But the ghosts have enough HP that they'd have to shoot it with two of these. They could do that. Knights would be good. Knights cost 100 mana. Ghost just died. I wouldn't mind getting second ghost just to keep myself from ever getting poisoned. Second ghost. Cool. Ghostly Blast. Oh, that can one-shot a ghost. I knew that. 
HP is high. Bam. Man is high. Bam. Regen's high. 21 regen. What do these ones do? These ones give growth. They don't do much. These leaders phylacteries, eh, don't do much. Except it makes it so that I can't hurt them in a cheesy way with blast crystals, but that's fine. Like, just place a dwarf. Dwarf should take out a bunch of this. Man is full. Here. Get poison. I don't know if I want to place this up high. I think I'd rather just place it here. Protect it by a ghost. I could protect it by multiple ghosts. That makes sense to me. Because this is a hundred cost investment. Big investment. We can do incursions. For what? Just because we can. Oh. I don't need to use Pandora's. We've already got knights going and we do poison right now. And they don't really have anything that can hurt me. Just get more knights at this point. Game over. They do have... Oh no, the regen went on to random bonfires. Interesting. Poison plus regen. If you got enough regen on the bonfires, which they're not doing, it could actually be kind of good. At this point, the knights are like unstoppable. Cool. Growing Ascension. After this is created, the first cube in your hand, which doesn't already have two or more growth, gains growth two. This costs 100 mana. Growth two. That's kind of cool. This one. Add-on. Self-copying. Every minute. Add a copy of this to your hand. Add a copy of this to your hand. That's 100 mana. Not that good. Tools of creation. After this is created, add a random cube from the library to your hand, which isn't already in your hand and has infinite uses. Random cube for 100 mana. Poison Anthill. I like Poison Anthill. 40 mana. I like Poison Anthill. The growing ascension would have been kind of good too. 180 gold. We have a good amount of gold. After an ally dies, 10% chance to create a copy of a random cube from hand in its place, which costs exactly five times as much. What? Weird. Memory cache. Your maximum hand size is increased by three. Before a cube is added to your hand, gain 10 max mana. What? Stacking this perk more than roughly five times may have strange effects on the UI. This sounds awesome. Oh, because of the maximum hand size stacking it. I want this one. 690, the Lieutenant. After an ally with mana cost 40 or greater is created, it gains all abilities of the next perk. Next perk must be value 40. No out of battle effects, unique or neutral perks. Interesting. Huh, that's kind of cool. After an ally deals damage, it also deals one damage to a random enemy. Also pretty cool. This one. Dangerous game. Give up a heart. Huh. Gain 15 gold, so this pays for itself. Gain 30 gold. Then choose one of three curses. Probably not. Start a battle. Random cube in your hand, which has infinite uses. Has its cost increased? No. Every minute, gain minus one mana multiplied by the... No. Raised Alchemist. Every 30 seconds, if Q below is an ally, exile it. Create a random cube with equal cost in its place, except it has two extra HP. And this is flying, which is kind of cool. Huh. Kind of cool. Misery Carrier is kind of good for 30 cost, 2 damage every 2 seconds. After an ally deals damage to an enemy, lose this ability, then deal the same amount of damage to all enemies with that name. 
think I'm going to take memory cache and call it good. I would like to be able to upgrade things if I can. 112 gold is enough to upgrade like one or two without being in too much like risky territory. Hovering vault. If we look at our stuff, I can't fly. I could build stones. I can get poison ant hill to do it. Kind of. Not really. Hovering vault is rough. I like it, but I'm not really set up for it. So this one. Curse of second chances. After an enemy leader is reduced to less than half HP, after taking damage, exi exile 10 random non-leader allies once per battle. That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. What is this one? I mean, I can always go like this afterwards. Let's go do this. Anthill. Hmm. This could mess me up pretty bad. I feel strong with the ants, though. They do have flying, and they have firestorm sparks. Oh, crap. I hate firestorm sparks. I really hate that. Oh, I can't build onto this. I could if I build up stones. Oh. These sparks dies after five seconds, so they're not going to die before they hit me. Two damage per second, kind of, except only one in five ends up in this row, but still. Is that the only worry, basically? Retaliatory. Getting down ants is really good. These protect the ants. They're really expensive, though. I'm going to place one of these. I should have done the regen thing. We should do the regen thing first. I just don't like being at low HP for a while. Five regen. Yeah, this thing just does crazy damage. Cost 75 mana, but look at how good its damage is. Luckily, it's not shooting at me. And they do tend to block themselves off, but still scary. Super scary. So the plan was to get an anthill. And we just rely on the fact... Maybe I did get some of that mana with my ants, I think. Okay, so ideally I would have more ghosts protecting these, but my ants might be able to make it through to take them out. If nothing else, I'm getting a lot of mana. I think my ants can do this now, because they blocked off the front of this, so my ghost is pretty safe. Oh, I'm getting shot. This is why I wanted that regen, though. I'm going to place that down. That helps protect me quite a bit. Oh, except that it's dead. Oh. Okay, I have regen. Let's get more. And hope that the ants can take out the enemy. They should be able to. As long as I stay alive. It's a little bit close. Okay, but now I can defend myself with ghosts. As long as I stay alive. Close. Okay. The ants did it. I wasted so much mana on these, but it wasn't wasted because we won. We have done it. Mana battery. Max mana every 30 seconds if you have more than 100 mana. The tricky thing with this is keeping it protected. I do like this, though. Reinforcing project. Before this dies, every ally gains extra HP equal to the energy on this. Every minute. This one's just slow. And it's expensive. After an allied leader takes damage, deal one damage to the culprit. Kind of good. Misery character. We've Carrier, we've already said, is good. I'm going to take the mana. Pocket mirror. Consumable. Every non-leader ally creates a copy of itself in front of itself. Consumables are usually good to upgrade. Ten minutes into each battle. Every non-leader ally creates a copy of itself in front of itself. Memory cache. Gain maximum hand size. Your maximum hand size is increased by 5. Before a cube is added to your hand, gain 10 max mana and 10 mana. That's pretty cool. 
So we just gained max mana. Claw, after a cube is added to your inventory, increase the number of cubes in each future cube choice by one unlimited cubes. Grand Looming Monolith. After a non-leader ally takes damage from an enemy with less HP, it deals X damage back, where X is equal to how much more HP it has. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with these two. Go into debt a little bit. So we get cubes. When we get cubes, we have more space for them. When we add them... Wait, didn't I just add? No. We're about to add some cubes. I'm always tempted to go into debt. We don't have to do it. If I was going to, I would do Looming Monolith. We're fine. So battles are a little bit better than question marks, kind of. This battle. Curse of Knights start at the start of each battle. Five free knights are added to the enemy's hand. That's a little bit rough. That is. That's really rough. I think I'd rather just give up a life. What is this one? After an ally dies, every ally with the same name takes one damage. No, that's rough. That kills ants. Not that ants are like the most important, but they're pretty important. I like this excavate, in theory. In practice, not so much. Ant hill's pretty important to me. So, mana battery. What do they have? Projectiles. Grinding gun is super annoying. They don't have something to feed it, really. Extra HP. That call upon deck could be scary. It's not much debt, but it's enough that I could get into trouble. I could have just placed ants, maybe. Maybe I should do that. That's probably what I do next. We got seven regen, but I gave up a bunch of HP to do it. Luckily, magic missiles fall short. These are scary, though. But only if there's cubes on top. They're hard to get. So my thought is anthill with three of these in front of it. They just killed one of my ants. I do need to protect this, which is going to be a little bit tricky. Ghost cost 50. This deck collector has some poison on it. Ideally, I don't know if I need to protect the poison anthill or my leader. My leader has regen. Let's assume that my leader's okay for a little bit. And just get this first. Good job, ghost. So next ghost comes right here. Nobody's gotten any mana yet. That deck collector is a problem. My leader has regen, though. Get more. How much damage? These don't do much damage. Every second, one damage. If I had minus gold, then they do a ton of damage. Right now, I think I'm okay. Could try to take it out. Not really. Two seconds, five damage. Second, five damage. I guess let's do this. It's worth killing a bunch of this junk. I win that fight, so yeah. I wouldn't mind getting ants up here. They're pretty safe. You're healing. Yeah, let's get some ants. Right, there's a pushing thing. If I get enough ants, I think they make it over it. Enough ants solves most problems in this game. A lot of max mana. Crap. Will that go down in time? Oh, this would protect me. Place that. Cool. Ant hill. Their leader is poisoned. They lose. And I've got regen, so I'm pretty safe. I'm at max HP. Overrun them with ants. Let's go. Not getting the mana is a little bit scary. You're poisoned. Ooh, but you have more HP now. Because of this thing. Reinforcing project. 
should die to the ghosts. Oh no, because it would have hit through this block. Died to the poison though. Victory! 240 max mana. How did I get that max mana? I'm misunderstanding this one. Your maximum hand size is increased by 5. Before a cube is added to your hand, gain 10 max mana and 10 mana. I didn't gain from this. Before a cube is added to your hand, these get added to my hand. Oh. Every time these get added, I get max mana and mana. That's so good. But I thought that it was when they get added to my inventory. I misread. After another ally is created, swap its HP and max HP with this cube's HP and max HP. Phase gun. That one's really good. Phase gun's hard to beat. And I have tons of inventory space. Okay. Wait, what's up with these? Looming monolith. Disable this perk for future battles. That is new to me. That is cool. It's kind of cheaty. It's way too strong. You can disable perks? Ah, oh, I feel pretty strong now. Let's go do some stupid chaos. 10 bottled rainbows, consumables. Add five cubes to your hand, which aren't in your hand. They are free. Only works in battles. One wizard. Start with the concentrate cube. Use it and other cubes at the same time. So this gives strength to things. Abomination soup. I think this one's strong. After a non-enemy, non-leader, non-enemy, non-leader. So ally or neutral kills a non-enemy, kills a neutral. The killer gains all abilities of the victim and loses all armor. The only ability neutrals have is armor. Not really, but kind of. That's not true. Curse of Narrow Paths. Choose from two less terrains when you choose from terrains. Eh, okay. We're locked into one terrain. That's fine. Let's go lose a heart. Bam. Tiny healing container. Every 10 seconds, starting leader heals a random damaged ally for one HP. It's okay. Two minutes, stone in hand, gains one extra HP. Eh. Beehive. After a non-bee ally takes damage, 30% chance it creates a two damage homing bee projectile on a random position on the left side. I'm pretty sure this one is really strong. It can create a stupid amount of bees. I believe. So this gun, really, 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 really good. I don't think I ever use Tiny Castle anymore. I would just always rather use guns. Stupid Death Incarnate. I'm not even in debt. How do they have this? This one's fine if you kill it, but it has devouring and that devouring will even kill projectiles. Okay, we have problems. We have problems. We have solutions. That death incarnate is so bad. Devouring. If this gets to a hundred or more, like this thing just eats ants, I'm pretty sure. After a cube die. After, okay. After another cube takes damage, if it has one or less HP, kill that cube. Growth ward. Growth ward is scary too. I don't care too much about this slime. Oh, maybe I do actually. Oh, actually I do. Oh, retaliate is gonna take this out. My bad. My bad. I do care about all of this. Why do they have lava storm? Oh God. Oh God, what is this chaos? I only have one heart too. This is cube chaos. Okay, well, there's a lava pit. That helps a bit. Oh, I could have taken the thing where I gain attributes acidic. Oh no, these are enemies. It doesn't matter, it's acidic, but it's not neutral. They are gonna get the free mana. Is there a way for me to, incursion, wait. With incursion, I could get the mana. 
Okay, I need that lava. It went away. Good. This electric does retaliate. We need an anthill up there. I didn't even consider that this can get me unlimited mana in theory. Okay, in practice, these are too fast. The incursions are good, though. They're getting me mana and max mana, so that's good. The guns are weird. Oh no, Death Incarnate. Crap. It's already at 46 HP. Crap. I think I've lost. We are doing three damage to it. Okay. These cost 50 mana. My only chance is to kill this quickly. And chance ruined. The lava could still do it. After another cube takes damage. Devouring. Doesn't this move now? Wait. Oh yeah. After a cube dies, if this has 100 or more HP, move forward. The lava still might kill it, but that's pretty scary. The lava is just pretty scary. Still haven't gotten into here. Oh. These are taking some damage. Not really enough. Incursion. The problem is this thing is so good with lots of little cubes dying and right now lots of little kid cubes are dying. Also, these ones are flying, but these ones are not. So my leader will drop down. How do I deal with that? Get a phase gun to shoot the lava. But this lava is a problem. How is this not moved forward? I have no idea. I feel like that lava is going to kill me. Unless I have a lot of space. Okay, we managed to kill it. Okay, I think maybe I'm good. We are good. I do not know how this thing didn't start charging at me. Cool. Laser drone. Laser drone's really good. Especially for the level that I have right now. Every 0.7 seconds, create a laser beam in front. No. Wait. Maybe? That's a really fast firing weapon. Call Warrior. After this is created, create a random cube from the library below, which has melee and charging. That's pretty cool. Clay Anomaly. I like this one, but it's really expensive. Laser drone. Laser drone is just really good. Flying's nice to have. Laser beams are good every two seconds. This one doesn't have fl flying, but God, it shoots fast. It's expensive. Take the laser drones. Curse of compression. Every 30 seconds, every enemy with empty space below moves downwards and gains one extra HP. Not that bad. Curse of doubt. After an ally is created, deals one damage to itself. That destroys ants. Curse of Temporary Armor. I could remove ants at this point. It might kill lasers too. Enemy leaders take two less damage, but one more for every five minutes which have passed this battle. We're gonna take compression. We're gonna go to the shop. Adapting armor every seven times allies take damage. All allies with the same name gain one extra HP. Huh, it's kinda cool. I have 62 gold. Start a battle. All cubes in the centermost column die. That would kill my mana. Well, some of it. Common grudge. Start of each battle. All cubes in your hand gain. After this is created, this deals one damage to a random enemy. Oh, kind of cool. For 67? Not the best, but it's kind of cool. After a cube takes damage, it swaps positions with the cube, which dealt damage to it. That one's weird. Every seven times, allies take damage. Metallic key. For 40, I could go to a shop. Consumable. Each cube in your hand gains three extra max, or er, extra HP. What is this? Virus. After a poison cube deals damage, the victim also becomes poisoned for five HP per minute. After a cube is created above, it becomes poisoned 
for one minute. Doom Spiral. Doom Spiral. Gain 10,000 gold until you lose this perk. After an ally is placed, it loses all abilities and becomes golden. They don't do anything. We have 115 gold. I'm in grudge. Sounds kind of fun. So does this. All allies with the same name. I'm gonna take it. Leave. I don't know if that one's good or not. Spiky Cave is our one choice. I like Spiky Cave. We're almost at an hour. Let's keep going. I don't have much gold. We have to do cursed fights. Curse of Regeneration. After an enemy is created, it gains regen five. Okay. I can work with that. Laser Drone. Laser Drone is a better blast crystal. It's more expensive, but it's better. Don't I have a bunch of hand space? Oh, I do, but it's not starting hand space. Okay. Since when do these have all this mana down here? There's my leader. Interesting. Laser drone. Kind of just want to play ants. What do they have? Oblivion Comet. Deal damage every three minutes. Nine damage to every cube ever. Summer Shrine. This one's scary. Every five seconds, random ally gains extra HP. Soulscape. What is this? Add-on. Leader. Crap. Every 10 seconds, generate mana. So these are going to become leaders. Leader regen, leader growth. Well, 10 HP to the leader. Seems easy. The only one that threatens me is charging laser. And really, it doesn't threaten me much. Phase gun or laser drone? Two seconds. I think it's... Ah, this kills my own units. Could be phase gun. Does mana crystal count? Yeah, I think it does. Or, I mean, does killing it with phase bullets count? I think so. Here, I'm just gonna place it. I should be able to outshoot these charging lasers, no problem. So I'm not worried about anything. Getting the starting mana is good. I do need to take these out. I've got time to do it. And we've done it. So, that was an easy match. There's not really anything the enemy can do to me now. At least I don't see it if there is. And we send random bees. I could build the poison thing. Sure. Could make a laser. Here, we'll put... One of these. And they're poisoned. Super poisoned. They do have a lot of max HP. Oh, because of these leader reinforcements. Now we get to choose from five. Retribution walls, okay. Blood reactor, every two seconds, if there's an ally on all four touching positions, deal one damage to each of them and generate 10 mana. Eh. Brave ruined wall, extra life, vengeance. Big boulder, after this is placed, create copies of this in the nearby eight nearby positions that's kind of cool i think i'm just going to take this i'm not going to use it this one after it's created it gains 0.5 extra hp for every enemy it's 55 mana shop key we go to a shop with 61 gold eh. and if we look at that shop key it costs me 10 gold i don't care about shops that much could get a heart back. Mana Crisis, double the following. Your starting hand, cube costs, all allied, positive mana generation, and starting max and mana. Interesting. Controlling Earth, every minute, every cube above a neutral cube generates one mana to their faction. That's kind of scary. 
Mana Kettle, before an ally generates a positive amount of mana, also generate additional. That's a little bit of extra, but not too much. I think we're good with that. And I have other cubes that can generate mana. This one can generate mana. This one can generate mana. Not much. This one could do a little bit. Again, not much. Every 30 seconds, one mana. It's better for the max mana properties, which are still really good. Ant Hill. They are scarier this time. It's 14 seconds, though. Ant Hill has no chance. Do they have anything that scares me? Weaken. Every enemy takes one damage, loses one max HP, gain is minus one strength for 10 seconds, but then it comes back. Regen, Retribution Wall. I don't think Retribution Wall works. Oh. After this takes damage, heal another random damaged ally for one HP. Kind of interesting. I think we're gonna do the same kind of thing. I feel good about that. Ooh, that's high up. I didn't really consider that. Wonder if I should take that out early. We'll take it out after this mana. Oh, they blocked themselves. Huh. Okay. I think I'm good then. Oh, ants, right, 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 right. I can send my own ants. I have the bees. I don't really want these ant hills up here. This retribution wall. I think I'm fine, but the ants do concern me a little bit. There we go. Ants are going away. And let's get point. Holy mana. Okay. 12 poison. Every time I hit them, they gain 4 poison. So they are super dead. Laser. Every 3 seconds, create a laser beam in front. 2 HP, 15 mana. It shoots slower than the other, but it's so much cheaper. Regen. Regen's kind of good, but you can't get on the leader. Chaos Portal is weird. Creates neutral cubes. It does move forward into their territory. This one is chaos. We don't need that. Shield Congealer. Healer's pretty good. But why? I'm going to take laser even though I don't plan on using it because I already have two other lasers. Do we go for stupidness? Yeah, let's go for stupidness. One charm of the pacifist. Negate all damage allied leaders deal to the enemies, but instead gain that much mana. The parasite. After a non-leader ally kills another cube, create a copy of that ally in the victim's place. Except they both can't replicate like this ever again. One times voids price. If a cube would die, 90% chance they lose a random ability to heal one HP and prevent the death. Curse of Looting. After you lose a battle, we're never going to lose. Lose half the gold. We have one heart. Curse of Resilient Leaf times five. Before an enemy takes more than zero damage, negate the damage. No. Only second cooldown. Curse of Expensive Materials. After an enemy with mana cost 40 or greater is placed, gains an extra five HP. I'm going to do Void Price. Sure. Why not? Slow Cooker. Before damage is dealt to an unpoisoned enemy, reduce it by one, but apply three poison. This only works once, but you can upgrade it so that it works like crazy. Incursion creates random cubes from my hand, which is kind of cool, but they're cheap. Architects help. Start of each battle among the cubes in your hand, which don't have zero HP. The cubes with the lowest HP gain two extra HP. This would be good if I had multiple cubes with the same HP. Also, I don't care about it. And I do care about this. Boss fight with one HP. What do they have? They have charging laser, don't care. Limino, don't care. Eldritch Eye, kind of care. Kind of care. 
Il leader healer, don't care. Dragon box, don't care. Oblivion project, takes a minute, don't care. So what I'm leaning towards very heavily is laser. The reason for laser, very cheap. Okay, wait, what if I get rid of my dwarf? Since when have I ever used a dwarf? So these lasers, again, are very cheap. They don't shoot as fast as the other ones. Still, they are very cheap. Have we considered how cheap these are? Also, they... What's it called? They will shoot things in front of them. Okay, I put phase guns behind them. I'm gonna get poisoned pretty soon. I do want to take out this. I guess it doesn't matter much. This Eldritch Knot. Limino, you have to make sure it doesn't get too crazy, but it should be fine. I can outshoot Limino. Yep, Limino's already dead. Yeah, let's just get poison right. Why are you poisoned? Six poison. Who did that? This Eldritch Eye. That's what did it. And it's going to kill a bunch of my random stuff. That's why I wanted cheap lasers, to be able to take those out. Hey, you know what? How's my leader doing? I think I'm fine. Is this poisoned? No. If this gets enough poison, I'm screwed. Okay, once I drop below 40, I might put some healing on that. These things are way slower than I thought. They just don't do damage. Oh, because it died and came back. That one really doesn't do damage. Got it. Mistakes have been made. Bad mistakes. HP 39. Bam. Nine poison. I'm in trouble. Nine poison. I thought with my lasers I could outshoot them. I was incorrect. 15 poison. Crap. I can't outheal that. I don't have a good way to heal. I'm just going to keep gaining more poison, I think. Is that true? I'm not sure. I do have these incursions. Do they help? Not really. Getting that mana would help. The problem is, this thing is going to keep messing with me. It's Eldritch, so if I kill it, their leader loses max HP. I need to be able to heal myself, though. Regen 8. Okay, I did get some of that mana. That's good. Did I get it? Yes, I did. Regen 12. It would be helpful if we could shoot them more. What is going on? Why is this? This is poisoned. Why am I not doing damage? Right, I don't do damage because I took the abomination soup, so I really didn't need to make the poisoner's kit. I guess it's good if I want to poison them more than the once. Speaking of which, I do want to be able to shoot them a bunch. Cool. That was one that I wanted to kill. How are we doing? Regen. Okay, I need more regen. I have 160 max mana. Hey, my leader should kill these. That will help. Wait, what just happened? Give me my mana. I have 10 HP. I'm losing four per minute right now. My leader is dropping down. Fine. Why is my leader dropping down so fast? Okay, it stopped. That 18 poison. I still have some lasers up here. A bunch of them don't fire now. 9 HP. Losing 2 per minute. That's not bad. I would rather it if I was gaining HP. 9 HP. 
break even. Can they still hit me? Yeah, they could. Poisonous. But this one is poisoned, too. There's another one. Okay. Are we killing this? Lifesteal, poison, poisonous. Why are we not killing it? Okay, it's dead. Good. You. 9 HP. 10 HP. We outheal the poison. Temporarily. All of these spikes fell. There was a major avalanche. Their leader is fine, but poisoned. Poisoned is good. These eggs. These eggs concern me a bit. I'd like to build more lasers. My bees are doing things. The eggs are poisoned. Except for this one is not. Why not? Why are you not poisoned? Okay, now it is. This one. I need to take that out. Cool. Poisoned. We're good. This one would be good to take out. Holy damage. I have one HP. I have one HP. I now heal two per minute. Okay, I just got damaged again. I heal three per minute. I have two HP. What do I have for consumables? Every non-leader ally, it's not very good. Not very good. We're like barely hanging in there. I lose if I lose this. That is how this game works. Three HP. Do they have Eldritch Eyes? They have this one. How am I not gaining more poison? I don't fully understand, but that's okay. The main thing is that I'm starting to heal more. Now I'm poison 21. I did just get hit by the Eldritch Eye. I think the bees are maybe keeping me safe. They're just making it so a lot of that doesn't hit me. 3 HP. We're like coming right down to it with the HP. 29 regen. If I can get enough regen, then I could start generating mana in theory, but in practice, it's difficult. How are they doing? They're doing fine. Great. If they get to hatch these dragons, I'm in trouble. Okay, luckily, we still are making lasers. Okay, I think the lasers might be saving me too. Maybe I should just make more lasers. Maybe. God. How are they still alive? Defeat. Killer. Stalactite fell on my head. Curse of a murder. At the start of each battle, three free crows. That's not that bad. The game over. That's kind of bad. Rogue Dwarf. We almost made it. That's painful. Three new cubes unlocked. Anything else? That's it. We did not level up very much. That's okay. Roboticist hotfix. Right. Are there new classes? Even more, probably. This game has so much in it. We'll get it all unlocked. Give it enough time. I don't know when I'm going to be playing this one again. Kind of depends on the responses that the videos get. I want to hit diamond in backpack battles, so I want to play a bunch of that. But I do like playing this game. For now, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching.